Hello and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today we are going to do a very simple animation of an actual character this time. So I hope you guys are ready. And so first the character was done in Adobe Illustrator. And that's the easiest way in my opinion to actually get a character done because of the tools that are available um, with that program. So I will be inserting the character. So first I'm going to import it into the library instead of and directly onto the stage. And so I am going to make it as a movie clip because movie clips usually allow you to do more things to it. Um, if you click into the different paths that we have here, you can see it is shown as an editable path. So that means that we can change it up and make edits to it, or change the shapes and things. So we're going to import. And now it's in the library here. And I made it so that there are a whole bunch of different characters on here. It's the same character, but in different um, positions. But we will make it a little bit better than that. So let's say, let's zoom out. So here's a lot of the characters here. But the one that I want to use is this one here. So the first thing we need to do, because right now is just a actual page, so you need to break it apart so that you can use the different elements instead of the picture. You see how everything moves here. So we're going to make this and to uh, break this apart. So we're going to go to modify, break apart, and now you see now they can be chosen separately. And I want to make her smaller. So first, so I have her selected. I'm actually going to copy and then I'm going to make another layer. Well, first we're going to delete everything. So I'm going to zoom out. I could do edit, select all and then delete everybody's gone and then i'm going to zoom in to the frame so we're going to show frame um, and then i'm going to paste and center so now i just have this character only thankfully <laughs> and so i'm going to zoom out again and we're going to make her smaller she's a little big Let's see So here you go into properties and you can make it smaller, make her smaller and move her around. And so there we are. Zoom back in. And now she is in frame and I want a background for her. She is going to be in a room, so I will get that picture. So before I add the picture, I'm going to add a layer and we're going to call this layer background. And we want the background in the back at the bottom so that it's behind her. And then we're going to paste in center. Of course, this is a little small, um, so we're going to have to zoom in. Okay, so we see here is the background. She's going to be at an amusement park. Um, I would like it to be bigger than this. So let's make this into a symbol. And we, we can leave this as a graphic symbol. Um, and then let's go to properties and make this bigger. She's looking rather tall, but you know, maybe she's just closer to the camera. <laughs> so there she is. 
there's kind of what it was looking like and so we're going to make her look really really excited and happy to be here so she's going to jump in the air put her hands up and all that um and so let's see here she's on layer one let me see here let's look check the library so these little symbols tell you what the actual character is so she's still as a movie clip so we're going to use some of our tools to move her so let's have her hands go up so when i did an illustrator i separated different parts so the hands are separate the body is separate as you can see um, so that she can be easily moved once she's in Adobe um, Animate. So there is something called the Asset Warp Tool. That one's pretty cool. And so we're going to also lock the background layer as well. So now the background layer is locked and we're on layer one. And so we're going to work with this area. So, so now we're going to do a free use the free transform tool. And as you can see, it flips it. And as you can see, when it's flipped, it's separated. So we don't want that. So let's move it here. So now we need to edit slower movement so that it moves in a very more natural way. So let's edit undo. And so first, we're going to add the frames. Let's for now start with three seconds. So we're going to insert frames. And here to insert frames. And then so right now, this is her stationary movement. So now we're going to just move things very, very slowly. And I'll show you an example of that. So we're going to click. We already have that. And we're just going to move up a little bit. We're on the second. As you can see here, we're on the second part. So we move that up a little bit. And you can also tween as well. And I'll show you guys that. But this is one way. So she's moving her hand up. Make sure you do little movements. And now, as she is up, I'm going to have something fall off this little thing here and reshape. So, you're going to move, make that movement. And make her legs back as long as they were. You see how this helps? Everything is separated already. So, it really helps to be able to easily move things around. Okay, and now we're going to have this fall. Then it's going to start reshaping. We're going to use the free transfer tool for, for that. And as you can see, it can easily change shapes. You can also use the warp tool. So now it's really falling weird shapes here. We want to make this a little bit smaller though, the actual, let's see. We don't want so much of a difference between each. The uh, asset warp tool helps you to put pins in something and then to change the shape while leaving certain parts pinned so that it doesn't completely change it. So I like it here. You see how it's like flipping? But like this part is staying in the same spot. So we're gonna see what that's going to look like in the end. Let's add, let's remove this by clicking and hit, hitting delete. Actually, let's remove this one by clicking and hitting delete. Now that's gone. 
and we're going to move it this way and just as a reminder it is good to save especially if you find that it's lagging so let me show you guys the full uh, a little bit more than one second video is very short but let's see it so there we are so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video um, and please subscribe for more and more of this character here hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye